and 18% is $212.38. What is the single equivalent rate of discount? Rounded to two decimal places. Okay, so let's copy that. And let's um, start. We will look at it while we um, get our Word document going. Okay, so this is the quiz 10 question four. Okay, so there we are. Single equivalent rate of discount. All right, so we've had that before. And that is actually this formula right here. Okay, so let's copy that and let's put it down here. <clears throat> All right, so there we are. Except this time we only have two discounts, so we'll eliminate the third discount. All right, so what do we have? Well, we have D1 is equal to 0 0.26, and we have D2 is equal to 0 0.18. All right, so what's the single equivalent rate of discount? So let's continue. We go here and we will get what? 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.26 times 1 minus 0 0.18. Okay, so the equivalent rate of discount will be what? One minus, all right, let's get our calculator up there. So one minus 0.26 is equal to 0 0.74, 0, 0 0.74. And then the next one is 1 minus 0.18. That is equal to 0.82. So let's go 0 0.82. And there we are. Okay, now we can go further and have this here. Single equivalent rate is 1 minus. So let's do 0.74 times 0.82. And that gives us 0.6068. All right, let's put that up again, 6068. Okay, so there we are. And we can do the last part, which would be equivalent rate of discount, we can go and subtract the one, it'll become negative, but then we make it positive and we'll get 0 0.3932 if I am not wrong. That is correct, 0 0.3932. So the single equivalent rate of discount is 0 0.3932. Let's see now the question. It wants it as a percent, so we have to multiply that by 100. So we can say that the <clears throat> when we express that as a percent, so the single equivalent rate of discount as a percent is equal to 39.32 percent. Okay, let's put it like that, and this would be the correct answer right here. 39.32. Okay, so there we are, 
and we will put enter that 39.32. Okay, what is the price of the bike before the discounts? All right, let's do that now. So the price before the discounts. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we have another formula. It's right here. Okay, so before the discount, okay, let's get rid of that part. All right, so that is what we just did. But let's have a look at the formula sheet, correct? Because we do have the equivalent rate of discount. So we can probably use a more simplified formula like this one right here. N is equal to L, min, L times 1 minus D. The D in this case would be D sub E, the equivalent rate of discount. So if we use that formula, n is equal to L times 1 minus the equivalent. So this we can now write it as L times 1 minus D. And there is the equivalent rate of discount, correct? So we have put these two discounts into 1 D sub E. Okay, so where are we? Now, we do know certain things about this, which is the net price. That's after the discount. The price was 212.38. Okay, so we do, know, we do know that. All right, now the equivalent rate of discount, we also know, and that is 0.3932. Okay, so with those two pieces of information, we can calculate L, the list price. So 212.38 is equal to L times 0 0.3932. All right, so we can go further and do 212.38 divided by 0. 3932 would be equal to L, and then we could conceivably put 0 0.3932 and then 0 0.3932 multiply by that, and we can get the we can get it to work properly. All right, now let's do maybe these parentheses, we could probably do a better job if we use the ones that are provided from the panel, if the panel shows up, which hopefully it eventually will, then we get a better looking situation. All right, so here we are. And next we will compute the number, so we get a calculator, 212.38 <clears throat> divided by 0.3932, and that gives us what, 540.13. So 540.13 is equal to L. Or we could say that L is equal to, and we could put in the dollar sign, 540.13. So this was the price before the discount, 540.13. So we go back and we can go to the question and we enter it, 540. Okay, so it's to the nearest dollar. So let's go back and we can fix that. So that was the, I guess we should remove the green highlighting. Okay, it's equal to, <clears throat> okay, 540 rounded to the nearest 
dollar. Okay, so this is the answer, five, four, zero. All right, so with that, we will go back into the question, enter five, four, zero, and we submit, and the answer is wrong. Okay, so what happened there? Uh, we must go back and check to see what really happened. Okay, let's see what happened. So we have the equivalent discount is correct, 39.32. So one, the list price, one minus D, E, two on 2.38. So let's go and see if we made a mistake, two, one, 2.38 divided by 0.3932. And that gives us 540.13. So that seems to be correct. Now let's see if we put in 0.13. If that works and it still does not work, so there seems to be a, a problem. All right, now with the discount, let me go and check. That is the single equivalent rate of discount. Sorry, my mistake. Yes, this was DE, but this here should be one minus 0 0.3932. Okay, so let's correct that. So one minus 0 0.3932 gives us 0 0.6068. So this number here should be 0 0.6068. This number likewise here should be, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, 0.6068, and this number right here should also be 0 0.6068. Okay, so let's try that now. We go, uh, or we could actually just do the inverse of that and multiply by 212.38, and the answer becomes 350. So this answer here should be 350. Okay, there's no rounding required. Very nice. Okay, so we don't need to round this number here. We just put in the answer of, uh, let's put in 350. We delete these two and we delete that. And now we will try it again and see if 350 is the correct answer. And what do you know? It is correct. All right, so there we 